Behind me are the historical pools that President Franklin D. Roosevelt used when he came to Warm Springs. President Roosevelt's first visit to Warm Springs was in October of 1924. Roosevelt came to Warren Springs on the suggestion of a friend of his named George Foster Peabody. Peabody suggested these waters because the waters are unique. They're 88 degrees and they have a lot of minerals in them. So they create a lot of buoyancy. And also President Roosevelt was able to swim the waters for long periods of time. And the warm water helped to relax the muscles. President Roosevelt eventually did an interview for the Atlanta newspaper and word got out about these special waters. So people with polio started to come here and Roosevelt decided that this would be a great opportunity to start a hospital here in Warren Springs called the Georgia Warren Springs Foundation. Hundreds of polio patients came here for treatments. They received physical therapy and on a daily basis they will come here to the springs to swim in these waters. As well as President Roosevelt during his visits here and Roosevelt stayed at the Little White House, which was built in 1932. After Roosevelt's death on April 12, 1945, they continued to do treatments here for polio patients. Since the polio vaccine was developed in 1955, the hospital has shifted their focus from polio to other disabilities and learning disabilities.